Hi, my name is Callan Duke and I work for Sustainable Nantucket and I do um, have done a lot of upcycled fashion in my lifetime, um, mostly as a hobby, but I'm currently studying at Parsons um, to get a fashion design certificate. And I love doing this kind of stuff for environmental reasons and for um, just because it's fun. Emma, do you want to introduce yourself or do you feel like your relatives know who you are? Um, yeah, I think my relatives know who I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next slide, please. All right, so we thought it was important. This is just a little uh, breakdown of where clothing goes because it is really fun to upcycle, but it's also really important to think of why we do it. And um, most of the stuff that we use and then donate ends up in landfills. So 62.5% of all clothing that's bought um, ends up in a landfill. Um, and the stuff that's donated often ends up overseas and ends up um, making markets overseas wonky and then a lot of it gets burnt um, and very little of it gets recycled so we said it was important to point that out and that's a good reason to not throw away that t-shirt that's in your hands right now we're going to try to do something new with it um, and also of course to think about before you buy you know where you're buying stuff from I don't know if you guys already shop at used clothing stores and we had the dump for a while and you know just think before you buy. So just a little reminder. And I can send the link to this um, website if anyone is interested. Uh, next slide, please, Janet. And then today as I was running out the door, um, I found this book, my friend Meg uh, gave it to me and I thought it was worth putting out there. Again, we can put more information in the chat. Um, it's called Tease and it's 50 inspired t-shirt transformations. Some really cool things that I hadn't seen. There's some cool boxer short um, t-shirt made out of t-shirts and then like some kind of groovy like it looks like football jersey-esque t-shirts with asymmetrical sleeves and there's and there was like they made pillow covers they had Emma they had your bag that you make they have all sorts of oh perfect stuff. yeah so just kind of there's probably a gazillion books like this out there because there's a gazillion if you type in upcycle t-shirt online you just go down a rabbit hole so there's a lot of information uh, next slide please so I find it helpful when I'm starting a project to think of, you know, just get different ideas. So I've included some designs I've made in the past just to kind of get us thinking, you know, it's not just um, t-shirts. It's We could do long sleeve t-shirts. The one in the middle is my sister. I made her a, a, a tank top out of two uh, jerseys that I found at second hand. You know, you can do the one on the far right is t-shirts, but then the sleeves are um, cotton from another shirt. So there's all sorts of things that you can do with your t-shirts. Next slide, please. Oh, Kylan, I have a question oh. about that one on the right. Oh, go is back, that, please. Uh -huh. Is that like a black t-shirt on top of a white t-shirt? Yeah. So oh, I that's just, so cool. I just cut like the strips like you do for the weaving and then pulled it. Yeah. And it, it really helps that my sister is really busty. So it made like, it really stretched it out. I think it looks really nice like that because yeah. it, you know, stretched it out yeah well, so it's just all a whole new like interesting dimension to it too exactly it adds a little texture and then i found like some little that little red thing is like something that kind of looked like a tattoo you know that i the little heart yeah i sewed on that that was a fun one all right next slide and then these are some more um the white one i had a surgery and i just did a bunch of white t-shirts the bed i that's not me but a lot of you have seen like uh, t-shirt quilts yeah um the 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 shirt on the bottom is again i like combining things so it's silk sleeves and then t-shirt for the top and for the bottom and then i made a tote bag out of a, a t-shirt that had kind of a hawaii theme so i put some hawaii um, fabric that's a reversible bag so lots you can do with t-shirts i'll show you guys too I'm, around. <clears throat> I'm working on this rug oh, yeah. it's oh, um great. It's like this braided rug yeah. made out of, um, Callan and I did like the yarn. And I think you guys saw um, Janet's like pot planters with the macrame oh, yeah. is made out of the yarn. And then I like found this tutorial to, to braid the rug. So That's I'm working sweet. on one of those Beautiful, and like Emma. maybe making it into a kit too. Is that all crochet? Um, it's no, it's just braided. And then you it's sew braided the braids together. and then you just kind of like weave it into the other braids. Oh, that's beautiful. That's I love really it. Cool. I like that. 
And then here's some more, like I, not only t-shirts, but you can, t-shirts are so forgiving. Um, you can sew a bunch together and they'll stretch and it, you can get them to sag. Like the one on the left, I made a dress mm -hmm. with the, the strap, say peace and love. I wore that oh, so often, um, you know, and then just cutting it up and using the words. And then the one on the far right is like lots of strips of t-shirts all sewn together to make a dress. So there's a lot you can do um, outside of just, you know, decorating a t-shirt. So I think the next slide, kind of um yeah so this one is just to show that you know it's fun to really have a project but sometimes just like this t-shirt you can see she's cut or someone has cut the shoulders just cut away at the neck mm -hmm. and then at the um at her, the neckline as well um and then that's it you know maybe a little stretching and you've got a cool looking t-shirt so sometimes you know it doesn't take much and you've got a new look mm. all right next slide please and this is kind of emphasizing that again sometimes i find with shirts that i like just cutting off the, the um, sleeves past the hem you know getting rid of that so you get some play and then fabric and the the collar the what would, what would you call that a neckline um sometimes that's enough and then you got to really pull them and you get that nice curled look and that's one great thing of working with t-shirt material is it doesn't fray so you can kind of have nice uh edges you can also hem it if you want but i like that rolled edge so sometimes it's just you know fun cutting and, and you got yourself a project all right next next slide please so we're gonna the first thing we, we thought it'd be good to show you guys first and then we'll workshop and if you want to do this you can or if you're really inspired to do it um along that would be awesome. So I'm going to show you um, how to do something like this. It probably won't look as good as this, but something like this. Um, the first thing you do, and again, if you want to do this, we'll go over it again. But you take a T-shirt. I'll take one that I haven't cut. Should I stop the Should I stop the share so we can see? Yeah, it? can you? Yeah, exactly. That would be great. Sorry, <laughs> you have yeah. a, a much bigger job than you realize, Janet. That's okay. <laughs> All right. So um, here's a T-shirt. <laughs> um, and you just take the back, just the one side, and we'd fold it in half like this. And then I would cut all along here in strips, cut, cut, cut. And I've done that with this Levi's t-shirt. I don't know if you can see it very well. Can you see? Yeah. So I've yeah. cut it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so then what you do, again, remember that stretching is one of the best features of t-shirts is you just stretch it like this. And this is why so if you want it to be a fitted t-shirt, it's good to use one that's maybe a little too small because once you cut it, it has a ton of play. And then um, my model is this brown pillow over here. <laughs> so so how did you how did you cut I'm I'm it's, how did you cut those strips? Sorry, cutting? it's hard to, it's, okay so say this is the back, right? Yeah. Just pretend this is the back. Uh, what I did is I just cut like this. Oh, because when you're holding it up, we can't see the. I can't see the bottom. I can just see the. Top yeah, so the you folded. put like the sleeves together almost. See how Janice? Oh no, I understand how you fold it. I just didn't see you. Like if you raise it up. Oh. Oh, oh sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you. That's helpful. Yeah. See how I? So I folded it in half. I just don't have enough hands. Yeah. No, no, no. Okay, I get it. Yeah. Yeah. Does that make sense? Okay. Thank you for yeah. asking. I appreciate it. So then I have stretched okay. it, and I'm going to put it on my. It actually works better if it's on a person. But um, <laughs> we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna do our pillow, and this is one Emma like the 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 white one with the black that you asked about. For me, at least, I would feel more comfortable wearing. I could you could do uh, one that wasn't ripped underneath it, you know. Yeah, so you wouldn't have to have a bare back if you're not comfortable with that. Okay, so then we've got it on the pillow. I'm gonna have to do this so that I. I'm not doing it backwards. And then all we do is we make a loop. Can you guys see? Yeah. 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 Like this. Yeah. Okay. We make a loop. And we so you make a loop and you put it behind the first one. And then you put it behind the next one. Wow, this is like so much. It looked so much more complicated in the oh, picture. Oh, it's so <laughs> simple. And then you do I was not expecting that, and it looks so much all different. All the way down. Different. <laughs> okay, or 
Oh, okay. Yes. Good. Yeah. No, like it looks, it makes the And then you can do all sorts of things. You can stretch it over, oh. right? And then, um, like that. And then when you get secure it at the bottom. So I'm going to um, show you on the next round because I want to show you one other way. And I want to use okay. the same t shirt. So I'll show you how to do it. But then there's another one. And I haven't done this one. So I'm going to try it in real time. Um, <laughs> you, go, you go like this. And I think if you twist it each time, it's supposed to look cool. Oh. But maybe. Oh, it gives not. you like a spine down the back almost. Uh, I'm not sure I like that one. But this is why it's so fun if you have a bunch of t shirts, you can just play with them. Yeah, I guess that's all right, right? Yeah. 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 Especially that if you, looks scoot, cool. you scoot it, you can scoot it towards the middle then when you're all done. You could make like a skeleton costume. <laughs> Ooh. Perfect. Ooh. <laughs> all right, now I'm going to try to move my camera so you can see me secure this. So the way that I've done it, and if anyone finds like a, a nicer way to do this, I would love to know because um, <laughs> it doesn't always look fabulous. But you're supposed to cut. Because if you just left it right that like this, right, it would just come unraveled. Yeah. Now I'm going to try to cut my cord. <laughs> this. You cut it and then you put one on one side of your loop and one on the other. And then you tie a knot. If that makes sense. Do you see what I did? Yeah. It's easier when you do it on your own. It's kind of hard to explain. And then you, you kind of have this little tie. And I'll scoot it up the pillow so you can see. And I'd probably get rid of this bottom piece, but then you have this little tie, you know, which that's cute. Too. Yeah, yeah, that's cute. That's all right. And oh, you, can, uh, you can also do it the other direction. You can weave it up here and have a little tie at the top, you know. So there's all sorts of ways you can do it. And then you play with it and scoot it over and, you know, make it a little bit more centered. But that's the weaving, that's the basic concept of the two different weaves. Super easy, right? Really simple. But then it looks kind of cool. This little added something. It might be yeah. cute like a, as a yoga top, but you know, kind of fun. So that's the weaving, if anyone is thinking of that for their t-shirt. And then Emma, you had some ideas too. Did you want to yeah, share? Yeah, so I'm just kind of sitting in front of my pile of shirts being like, what do I want to do? Um, so maybe I'll just talk about some of the things so I have this like big yellow one that is like my size. So I might use it as like a base, but the back is like kind of like an insanely lot of Marlin fish that I don't really feel like I need. But the back of this one is really cool. So I might use this one. It's also fishing related. These were at the dump. I wonder if the same person owned them. So I was like doing a pocket especially because this one has like a little design so you could actually like cover that up um and i have i have sleeves from an extra shirt i was using for the rug so i would just um i'm just gonna cut like a pocket shape out of this and sew it right on so I might, when we get to like the working stage, I'll work on that and I can kind of show you guys the progress of that. Does that sound? Yeah, oh yeah. Good. And then um, I really like Janet was showing me the, I mean, Callum was showing me the PowerPoint earlier and I loved the different colored sleeve than the shirt. So I think I might take, either take the yellow sleeves and put them on the blue shirt or the other way around, or maybe both. And if, you, um, if you've ever, so if I can interject, Emma, if you've ever, if you've done any basic sewing, if you have a regular sewing machine, the zigzag's pretty forgiving on the t-shirt material. It's pretty easy to just cut and replace the sleeves. And then, um, let's see, I want to try that macrame bottom. So the, the macrame one that Emma's talking about, it was like a crop top, right? It, or like it kind of ended right about here. And then the, there was like fringe, like little ties, oh. macrame at the bottom hanging down. It was super cute. Part of it too is like, I what I think is cool about it is you can do more than one technique with one shirt. You yeah. know, like you could do that thing on the back that Callum oh, did awesome. and also put the pocket yeah, on the front. Awesome. Yeah, that so I so thought this yeah. was really neat. Um, if you can see like the bottom part of it, like you cut the fringe and then you kind of tie them and you could tie them a couple times or just once. 
and even like I'm not really into crop tops but like most t-shirts that are my size are usually pretty long anyway <laughs> so you could still get that fringe and the macrame effect and not have it even be a crop top and or you could also do the layering effect, right? Like you could put, oh, yeah, yeah, you could cut another one underneath. Yeah, that's Absolutely. a great idea. And also something that I don't know that much about, but you know, it's a whole new area. You could also do these techniques and dye or do, you know, like tie dye or full on dye or oh, yeah. do bleach spots or, you know, iron ons. Like there's a lot of, once you start diving into this world, you'll never come out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, so um, let's, if you could get the PowerPoint back up when you get a chance and we'll look at the other examples. And then we were kind of thinking like, you know, feel for, like if you just type in like DIY t-shirt. Oh, that one's cute. Ooh, that so one's this is cute. another um, cool example. And we were thinking you probably don't even need like the little metal rivets. You could just cut like really tiny holes after you like make a V and just cut holes on the side and then do like a lacing through like a shoe and it just like totally transforms it. Yeah. You could even cut the t-shirt rope, right? And make it destruct. Yeah, it yeah, that's what I was too. thinking. You could just like cut off the bottom hem or something. Yeah, it makes it look a little rock and roll. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Can we see the next one? that may be it oh yeah no that's not okay yeah so this is the one with the pocket and I also really liked the idea of like hemming the sleeve a little um and I think I'll show like what I was thinking was like you can kind of double hem it so it's like a neat a neat hem and then you know like get it to the length that you want on your arm I know a lot for like the unisex shirts the arms are like really long and then do kind of like this visible, the visible mending. So I'll do a little example of that. Let me get some floss. Um, <clears throat> just pick like a nice contrasting color. And you could also just like sew the shirt hem up too, but I thought the visible mending would be kind of neat so that the stitches to the stitches that you use to um, hem it so it's short enough actually show and it becomes like a little embellishment, kind of like a two for one. You mean like you fold it up on the side and then like you fold it up on the side and then so with a contrasting color. Yeah. Very cool. And I mean, you pr probably should pin it, but I'm just going to do it as a sample, so. So I'm like coming out where it's rolled up and then going back in. So I'm like gonna sew this flap down, but have the stitches be kind of long enough that they're decorative on there as well. Oops. Yeah, I like that. Cause then you can see the color of the stitch. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. There's a whole movement, I think it's founded in a Japanese principle of, of highlighting your, your tears and changes. Yeah, is that the- Hiding them. Shoshi no, Shoshito is a pepper. What's it called? Sh no, I don't Shibu remember. I, it, yeah, but it's like, it's kind of honoring the, the, that the garment has been used and sort of yeah, highlighting Yeah, so this it, is like how it, about, it right? would go. Yeah. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. So Kaylee just made this because she had so many t-shirts and she loved them all. Oh, oh yes. That's so awesome. nice. Oh, that's so That's cool. amazing. Was that hard to make? I tried to make one of those once and I just I gave up. 
I started making it maybe like four years ago. <laughs> okay, I, yeah. That sounds about like how I do things. <laughs> it was all crooked and it was just going bad. Did you... She helped me make it and we made it pretty fast. We, we cut out uh, like a cardboard template so they were all even and I just yeah. the rows and then we sewed them all together. Yeah, we so, didn't. We didn't. Did you sew it all. onto something? I saw. I got like a piece of sweatshirt yeah, material. T-shirt material. Yeah. Like it's t-shirt for the well, back. T-shirt material and the, like a blanket, and so just gray. But we didn't. Um, did we didn't connect it like quilting at all <laughs> and put it through? But we're. Oh, like, it's like a big pillow, a pillowcase yeah. almost. Pillow yeah, it is exactly. <laughs> But she sits with it at the, on the at the TV every night, you know, covering herself up with the couch. Mm -hmm. So it's perfect. And uh, yeah. and you have your fun T-shirts that you that you miss that you you liked you liked the turkey plunge when you did it, but you don't ever yeah. wear it anymore. So you know it was it's yeah yeah. <laughs> so I'm working on a little pocket. I just cut it out, kind of freehand, and I'm gonna I'm gonna um make like a little hem on the top before I show, sew it onto the shirt. Are you going to, are you going to fold them over when you sew or are you just going to sew? I think I should because the t-shirt material is so like it, it rolls up and it's kind of hard to work with. So I think I will make little seams. How's it look? Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. Oh, nice. Uh, it looks good. Yeah. Not bad for the first time. Yeah, yeah. No, that's awesome. And it, it kind of makes it tighter. Yeah. But Kaylee, do you have a shirt that you're working on or something you're thinking I'm of? Or? Cutting this right now. And then I thought I could take my old hockey laces and tie them. Yeah. Up. And oh, then maybe sew, the, sew some black. And then I liked what Emma was doing with the <clears throat> different color thread around the sleeves. Ooh, maybe. Nice. I don't yeah, know. Do black, black and yeah. Then, yeah. That's cute. Oh, very cute. Yeah, I like that. Okay, this is my pocket so far. I just did like this decorative kind of hem mm -hmm. on it. It's cute. And then I'm gonna sew it on. Oh, it looks great. Yeah. I tried a new, I retied it. Does it look any different? Oh, and I took my shirt off. Oh, it's kind of, did huh. you do the, the different style where you loop it? Twist. Yeah, I like the twist. Yeah, I do too. That's nice. Can you turn around again so we can see it? You were so quick. <laughs> I'm squatting nice. up. <laughs> cool. Yeah, it gave cool. more shape too, you know? Because yeah, the, the yeah. shirts are often just so boxy. Val, what are you working on? I don't know. I don't know. I'm thinking I want to cut. I don't know. I'm going. I'm either going to do this with the uh, straps here, or I want to kind of cut up and and make it hang down. You know, the one where you're cutting down here and then you loop them all. That we'll see. Yeah, the, like the one that Janet did. Yeah. So here's the braid. So like you're going over and over, and then like when I get oh, to yeah. this point, I'm yeah. gonna like take this green one and tuck it into the braid that's already been made oh okay. i don't it's like hard to do on the camera but and emma is that going in a circle yeah it's a spiral oh okay yeah that's what i thought that's so cool. now it's like hooked in there well what's cool about that is you can go you can make it as big as you want you could be like okay i want this like just in the yeah uh, as a well, and I was also and it's like no, 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 i actually want a bigger one yeah i was making it uh, like the first edition of it and I was doing it too tight like instead of I was like looping it in too soon and it was kind of like curling and I was like you could make like a bowl like a fabric bowl or like a basket oh, or something oh, yeah. like there's a lot there's definitely a lot of options you can do with it and I mean it's not it's really heavy and it's sturdy oh it's and totally like, washable too right I yeah I would think so because it's just Oh. Nothing's sewn or really tied or anything. The key also is that. like you have to use like small like when when I made the t-shirt yarn first, I try to do it in like one strand, but you actually only want to use something small so that like they're not getting tangled and stuff. You mean small like thin? 
No, um, short. Sure. Sure. Oh, sure. And then what do you like, do? You you just tie to them be together. Like a whole ball. Oh. Do you just then tie them together as you run out? You do like a you do like a loop. So you cut. You cut so there's like a hole. Okay. And then you do the same thing on the other one, and you loop it through. Oh. So and then smart. you. Um, I don't know, like the name of that knot, but. I think it's the thing I do with my dog leash all the time, right? You wrap it through itself. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, if you're tying your dog up, like, yeah. on a post or something. Okay, this one's broken. So you didn't do, you didn't, when you were cutting the t-shirt, you didn't do a continuous whole strip. You I did. tried to, and but then I ended up cutting them shorter anyway, so you don't have to. Oh, that's cool. And well, that's what's nice is, like, I was able to use the sleeves and even, like, part of the shoulder that doesn't go all the way across. Right. Like I really was able to use a lot of the shirt. That's cool. Yeah, so you have the two loops and then you just put one through the other and oh, then put yes. the end through and and pull it like that. And it just knots it. Wow. So cool. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna be making one of those. <laughs> Right, well, if you want, if you want a bunch of young shirts, let me know. <laughs> I have a whole bunch of young shirts, but I always want young shirts. Isn't that funny? <laughs> um, I've started, I've started this. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. And then I'm going to somehow uh, tie them. We'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah. And I would so, like yank okay. on them so they stretch out a bit. I put my hockey lace in the shirt. Oh, so oh good. that looks really cool. That looks great. And you just cut the holes. Did that work out well? Yeah, I just cut the holes. They might rip and stretch. But... No, that looks so cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, and you kept, did you keep the neckline too? Yeah, I kept the neckline. I, I love that. Out, like, a small triangle right there. Yeah, so it's That's more so like cool. kind of like a peekaboo cutout. Nice. Okay, everyone has to take pictures of themselves in their shirt. I love that everybody's working on something. Yes. Maybe we can go around and show you what we did or what we're doing to ours. Sure, yeah. Um, I can start. I'm adding a little pocket onto mine. Cute. And I did some, um, that looks good. like a little embroidery embellishment on the top. Mm -hmm. Janet, do you want to show the back of yours? Yeah. Can you see it? Wow, that's so cool. Yeah, so that was a cool technique that Callan taught us. It's actually just like looping these strips. It's really simple. I wanted to show you before I get too cold, I wanted to show you guys what I made today when I was preparing for the workshop because I was thinking about um, showing it. I don't know if I can do this very well, but it, I cut, it was a t-shirt and I cut the, um, like a, a, I cut away the neck and the sleeves and I cut off the, the shoulder seam and then I made like little ties right here. I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, I love that. that. Really cute. And it was it was too baggy. It was too baggy down here. I don't like a baggy. So I cut the back. I made like a slit in and then made long. I don't know what it looks like, but if you can see. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's cute. Back, so it's kind of fitted because I don't. I like it a little bit fitted. But mm -hmm. anyway, I just thought it turned out kind of cute. That's cute. Yeah, that's cute. Um, super easy, and I did it inside out because there was um, print. So then it's also got the oh, ex like good. the seam, which I thought I kind of like. It's a little rough. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. um, so many, so many things you can do with t-shirts. How's the macrame shirt going? It's going well. We're all we right. Finished the first, the first. Um, oh Ooh, nice. yeah, that looks and good. That looks that really good. Next one. We'll see. Very <laughs> cool. You're gonna look like a cowgirl. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's what it is. I was trying. It reminded me of something. <laughs> The cowgirl up in Maine, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if it would work to do that for the sleeves. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah, I was thinking of that too. If you had a long sleeve t shirt, especially, right? You could, like, whoa, oh, that man. would be, be really hard to get on and off. But it would be I know, cool. that's the first thing I thought of. Oh, that's true. <laughs> it'd be, it feels like it'd be really Stevie Nicks. Yeah, yeah that would be Stevie Nicks. Yeah. Like, especially you if you like, left some, like, long pieces. <laughs> You could have someone macrame it while you're wearing it, and then you'd never be able to take it on and off. <laughs> but it would look really cool. That would be great. Tilt your camera down a little bit, or hold it up higher. There you go. 
Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Oh, very cute. So I think now I'm going to try to put the yellow sleeves onto this. I'm going to cut the cut the blue sleeves off and add the yellow sleeves. Will you cut at the seam or will you cut before or after? I think I'm going to cut before the seam because I'm going to make a new seam. Oh, that makes sense. OK, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I guess maybe I'll cut before the seam on this and then on the yellow one, I'll cut after the seam. Can I make a suggestion? Yeah. I wonder if you cut, um, what are you calling before the seam? Like closer to the neck. Okay, so after, if you cut after the seam, if you kept the seam on and did the same on the yellow, then you could use the seam as a guide mm -hmm. for where to sew and just sew like right inside the seam. And then it also oh. has some stability. It's not going to stretch. Yeah, and then cut the steam it. off after, kind of. Yeah, maybe. I mean, yeah, that's just, I think point. it would stretch. It's going to stretch a lot if you cut the seam off. But yeah. it's obviously up to you. No, that's a really good idea. So I'm going to wrap us up, but we'd love to have you guys back. So let us know, Emma and Callan. Yeah. Yes, please do. We loved this. This was really fun. Thank you guys for coming. It's so, much it's so fun that you got to be here. Thank you. <laughs>